Hello, welcome to the video. My name is Chelsea and I'm super excited to talk to you today because we are going to be doing a gateway habits challenge. I've teamed up with some amazing content creators to bring this challenge for you. It's going to help you to get more consistent. That's going to speed up your results in terms of weight loss. And it's going to mean that you can maintain those results for the long term. The challenge is going to be running from the 5th to the 8th of August. I'm going to put some links in the description for you to know exactly how to get involved. I'm going to be going over that in this video as well. We've got some helpful downloads like this, which I'll be explaining. And what I'm really excited about is that you can win this little goodie bag that I've been using that's been helping my consistency massively. And I am obsessed with it, of course, because it's tie tie. Uh, and also you can win a scholarship to my program, Lean With Plants, which is the last weight loss program that you will ever need. So I'm super, super pumped. So after you've watched this video, head on over to Healthy Vegan Mama. She's also doing a habits video where you can get some tips and tricks on how to do this challenge. And we've also got the Drudy family, Broccoli Mum, Plentifully Imperfect, Gish Gets Fit, and some amazing other content creators to help you get started on this challenge. So get involved in it. See all the details in the description and follow over on Instagram because that's where we will be hosting the challenge. So habits are so key for getting to your goal weight and actually being able to maintain that because weight loss always comes down to two key things. It's understanding the basics of how to lose weight. That's getting into a calorie deficit so you can deplete those stored fat cells that your body has saved up for a rainy day when there's a zombie apocalypse or you're stuck out in the savannah desert and and you need a fuel source that's why fat exists so you must get into a calorie deficit to start eating away at those stored fat cells and the best and easiest way to do that is with calorie density that means that you are eating foods that are on that lower end of the calorie spectrum you are able to bulk up and eat a ton of food you don't have to calorie count you don't have to feel restriction but you're getting into a calorie deficit just using a few simple principles and i've got a free mini course if you don't know how to do this this is really basic stuff check out that free mini course to get started but the most important part for me and what i'm most passionate about is the implementation piece because you can know what to do but if you don't consistently apply that you're never going to get to your goal i love to think about this like the story of the tortoise versus the hare. And everyone thinks that the moral of the story is that the tortoise won because slow and steady wins the race. That is not the case. The reason that the tortoise won was that he made continuous progress. The point is not that you need to go slow, it's that you need to keep taking each step. You need to make incremental progress consistently because without that if you stop like the hair did and you regress you never get to that goal so what habits can do it can speed up your results because you're able to make consistent progress but most importantly you're able to stay there when you get there i've now maintained my weight loss which is 40 pounds, like it's a significant amount for three plus years. I don't have to calorie count, I don't feel restricted, and I know that I can maintain this for the rest of my life. That is so freeing. If you are stuck in this uh, lose weight and then gain it back kind of cycle, let me know in the comments. It does not have to be that way, and that's why habits are so key. So getting consistent progress that gets you to the goal, like the tortoise in the story, you have to take consistent actions on a daily basis. Now here's the part that most people get stuck on. If we wanna take consistent daily actions, if we wanna get our reps in, which is the only thing that gets you to that goal, then you're going to have to do that even when you don't have motivation and even when you don't want to. And most people struggle because changing behavior, eating a broccoli instead of a donut, saying no to cake that your mother-in-law bought over for you especially, not giving in to cravings when you're on your period and it feels like the world is just on your back crashing down on you that's hard and it's uncomfortable so if you're failing with your diet right now and you feel like you need more willpower and motivation i want you to understand that we're actually hardwired as humans to choose the path of least resistance the fact that you choose the easiest thing and you don't choose discomfort is actually a positive trait designed to keep you alive this is human nature. It's not a flaw with you. 
it is something that is there to help us survive as a species and it's also a creativity super generator. If you think about any kind of innovation that has been made in technology and human advancement, it is all about making our lives easier, giving us more time, having more efficiency, essentially working with the fact that we're inherently lazy and we want to find ways to make our lives more comfortable. So when it comes to changing ingrained behaviours like the self-sabotage cycle and binging and giving in to cravings and perfectionism, we have to understand these key elements of human behaviour. We're designed to choose the path of least resistance. We're hardwired to want efficiency and to avoid pain. We don't like effort and sacrifice and we steer clear of it and we're mostly influenced by our environment anyway. So why traditional diets fail is that they're not taking into account the fact that we do choose the path of re least resistance and that we are designed to be efficient and lazy in a lot of ways. So in a traditional dieting sense, you would say, I need to change everything all at once. It's going to be really, really hard. I need to have more motivation and I'm going to just knuckle down and do something. But then we give up because it is hard and because it's uncomfortable. So instead, what we need to start thinking about and acting on is accepting the fact that we need to choose the path of least resistance and designing a simple, easy, light, fun set of actions that we can do again and again and again that stack up and then allow us to change our identity and our trust in ourselves over time. Identity is a piece I'm not going to go into deeply, but if you want to see a podcast episode about how our behavior is very influenced by our identity, then check out the link in the description. Essentially, what happens over time is that we build trust again, because if you are not able to stay consistent in the little things and you feel like you're constantly failing on your diet, then you do not have trust in yourself to do the big things. You need to build that up with tiny wins and progress over time so that you can do the harder things. And this is a key part of why we think that we need more motivation because we see people who are successful and who are a hundred or if not a thousand steps ahead of us. They go to the gym every day, they work hard, they cry through a workout, they can run a hundred kilometers. We think that we need more of what they have when what they have is being developed through a lot of tiny little actions. So instead of trying to have more of those inherent qualities like dedication, motivation and commitment, we need the actions on a daily basis now that confirm we are the kind of people, person people, that can achieve those things or that can do those things consistently. You are capable of doing hard things. I'm not trying to say that you aren't, but we need to build that up over time. And that's where tiny actions and little habits come in because you get your reps in. So behavioral change tools that actually work and change our ingrained behavior are centered around this idea that we must make things easy, obvious, attractive, and satisfying for ourselves so that we get the reps in. And that's where something like Gateway Habits, which is just one tool in this huge behavioral change tool kit that I am so obsessed with and that this is what we, we do in my program, Lean of Plants, is all about utilizing these behavioral change tools to make things easy, obvious, attractive, and satisfying. And Gateway Habits is super powerful because it is almost like a gateway drug. And I'm pretty sure that I came up with this term gateway habits. If you've seen it somewhere else, let me know in the comments. But it comes from some of the concepts in the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. And I like to think of this almost like a gateway drugs that, hear me out. <laughs> with a gateway drug, we kind of had this idea that if you start on the soft stuff, it's very easy to then go on into the harder stuff in terms of drugs. And the same can be said for positive actions. If you start on something small, then you can have this upward spiral that opens up better and better behavior from that one tiny gateway action. Think of this like a domino effect. You have one tiny domino and it knocks over more and more and more of them and they can be incrementally bigger but it was the first domino and the momentum from that that was able to knock over a huge domino later on. And the same is true for your behavior. You don't have to do everything. You don't have to knock over these extremely hard, difficult behaviors if you work on knocking over the first 
tiny little dominoes that then spiral into better behavior. And if you don't believe me on this, I can understand it, but I want you to think for a second how easy it is to spiral into negative behavior. You can do the same thing with positive behavior too when you use small gateway actions. And one of my favorite ways to think about this, and it almost, it always almost makes me cry because it's so powerful and so counter to the way that we talk to ourselves, is from the book uh, Essentialism by Greg McEwen. And he has an illustration in there, which I'm going to illustrate with a skateboard, where he talks about pushing a boulder up the hill. And this is how we tend to think about progress. It feels difficult, it feels heavy, we're pushing, we're behind this boulder, it's slowly moving up the hill, and any time we get tired and we lose motivation, then that boulder comes back and starts to crush us. That's the way that we tend to look at behavioral change, when instead, progress is more like a boulder sitting perched on a decline, and that if we were just to remove the obstacles to that moving down freely, it could start moving and picking up momentum, knocking things over in its path, and nothing can stop it. So instead of looking at your progress like difficulty and effort and so much perfectionism and needing to get it all right, start asking yourself, how can I make this easier for myself? How can I remove the obstacles so that I can gain momentum on my progress with a few little tweaks and we're going to do that because because that's what this is all about so to clarify a gateway habit is just the first domino it is a tiny step that you take that you can do in two minutes preferably or less that does not feel difficult and then that is going to knock over other behavior this is the key part you're not committing to the rest of the behavior if this was a gateway action or a gateway habit for trying to become a runner, you're not going out there to go for a run. Your gateway action could be as simple as putting your running shoes on every day. That is then going to make it more likely that you get out the door, but you're not committing to get out of the door. You're just pushing over the first domino. So some of the actions or gateway actions that I found incredibly helpful in helping me to lose 40 pounds and keep them off are number one, Keeping my environment super clean. I know this is a hard one for a lot of people, but if we are designed to choose the path of least resistance, if it takes effort to go to the store and buy junk food, or if it's too easy to go to your cupboard and get chocolate out, then you be the judge of whether that's going to be helpful or hindering your behavior. We are so influenced by environment. So if you want to make a path of least resistance and remove obstacles to your success, clean up your environment to be conducive to the behaviors you want as much as possible. Number two is buying frozen vegetables. I don't have to prep them. I don't have to cook them. I don't have to have little broccoli stems on the counter, which I hate. Let me know in the comments if you are like this as well. I've talked to a few people who feel the same and I just get major anxiety from seeing all those little broccoli stems everywhere when I'm chopping up broccoli. Same could be said for buying pre-cut veggies. Anything that removes some of the obstacles makes it easier, makes it lighter, makes it more attractive and more fun. This is the concept that we're working with. For me, buying frozen veggies is a great way to do that. Number three is microwaving potatoes. This is something that I've only just started to do, but, but before I did this, my gateway habit was that I would cook up uh, some kind of potato or sweet potato every couple of days. So it's the same kind of concept, but a microwaving potatoes just makes things even easier. It's removing so many obstacles. You don't have to get out a tray, paper. If you were to just sit and think about how many obstacles are there for me to do something, doesn't matter how big or small they are, Stacked up, they are still obstacles. So if I don't have to get out that tray, the paper, turn my oven on, uh, chop up tons of potatoes, set the temperature, come back, that's about six or seven things, and there's more that I haven't thought of that I don't have to do if I can literally poke some holes in a potato and put it in the microwave. You see how this is removing obstacles to the behavior that you want to cultivate? The fourth one is making overnight oats. Just having something a little bit prepped, it takes me a couple of minutes now, doesn't have to be complex and fancy. That means that for the next day, I'm very, very likely to eat those oats and have a healthy breakfast. And the fifth one is prepping my veggies for the day. And this is a habit that I just do pretty much by buying pre 
cut things and frozen vegetables that's what makes things easiest for me uh, because it's winter here in New Zealand I can't get things like cherry tomatoes and baby carrots and snap peas I, some of those I can't get anyway uh, but a lot of people who are super successful in lean of plants make a bit of a stasher bag or they just put some veggies in a container every single day and the concept of this is just prepping or knowing that you're going to be eating your veggies for that day and putting in a little bit of effort so that you're more likely to eat them that day. And I said five, but I'm gonna do six. I'm gonna do a bonus one, and that is making a bit of a goodie bag when I leave the house. And this is a new one that I am finding incredibly helpful, and why I'm gonna be giving away my little uh, goodie bag for the winner of this challenge once you get involved, because uh, all I do is microwave a potato. That's a gateway habit in and of itself. And then I'm chucking in some fruit. Uh, I've got a little pottle that I can put some hummus in and that's going into my bag and then I just grab that and again I'm not committing to actually eating anything from it it just means that when I'm out and about I'm more likely to grab that than I am to go through a drive through and get chips or a huge Starbucks when I was in the States we don't have Starbucks here all right so let's get into the gateway habits challenge how do you actually get started what do you do I've picked three of those six habits that I believe are the most influential and so what we're going to do is we're going to write it on our little habit tracker which you can get uh, in the description um, and there's also with that the opportunity for you to I don't know if you can see this uh, but this is to carry on those habits for the rest of the month which you can do if you want to first habit is going to be making overnight oats every single day over the four days of this challenge make some overnight oats and I'm going to show you how to do that and you don't have to eat them you're just making them if you don't eat oats use the same concept just prep something up the night before that is going to make it more likely for you to eat a healthy breakfast you can modify this to be suiting you and your lifestyle habit number two for the challenge is to cook a microwave potato every day and if you don't use a microwave steam it or put it in your oven that's a lot harder to do so if you do have a microwave then I would recommend that because it's just removing obstacles and please for anyone who is concerned about microwaves, you have nothing to worry about. There has been extensive studies done on this. You do not need to worry. Even Michael Greger, who is the most evidence-based, plant-based doctor out there, says that you do not need to worry about microwaves. And he cites all these references. I'm going to put a link to one of his videos. A microwave can save you so much time and remove so many obstacles from you getting consistent. I personally use mine every single day. Habit number three is to prep your veggies for the day. This could be as simple as you writing on a post-it note that you're gonna be eating a bag of frozen beans. It could be getting some cherry tomatoes uh, in a stasher bag with some cucumbers. It could be buying uh, some pre-cut salad mix that you're going to be using for the day. Over the course of the challenge, myself and the other creators in this are going to be giving you lots of ideas and examples for how you can use these things and what we do after those gateway actions as well. What I do with that baked potato, I'm going to be sharing more of that. I will be putting it in a bag and taking it out with me when I go and using it to make healthy, easy lunches as well. But follow along for the challenge and get involved in it. All right, so let's use this bad boy. I'm gonna pretend it's day one and walk you through what these little actions look like. going to do one with a mix of blueberries and peaches and for Morgan I'm going to use some tropical mix. So for your little habit tracker, you can use a sticker. Like I like stars, you can tick it off, you can do whatever you want. You love star charts, eh? Mm-hmm. Because then you get treats. Yeah. 
All right, Morgie, should we do a potato, microwave potato? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So it's not quite done, so I just turned it over. I'm gonna put it on for another two minutes. It's a bit of trial and error. So at this point, potato is done. Your gateway habit is now done. You do not need to take this any further. You can put it in your fridge and forget about it if you want, but you're most likely going to use it. And what I'm gonna use it for is putting it into my little goodie bag for me to leave the house, and I'm gonna show you what else I'm gonna put in that. Uh, and this just makes me so much more consistent when I leave. But you do not have to commit to anything more than just making this every day. You could also use the baked potato for making a very easy lunch, throwing together some broccoli in a steamer. Uh, I'm loving this meal at the moment, by the way. Uh, you could use it for literally anything, but the whole point is to just do the first step and then see where that takes you. because vegetables are so expensive right now in New Zealand tomatoes were $16 a kilo just for context I'm gonna do frozen veggies as my prep they're already ready I don't need to do anything but to do this as a daily habit I'm going to put it on a post-it note stick it up on my fridge so that I've kind of pre thought about the fact that I'm gonna be eating some steamed green beans with my lunch so it could be as simple as that or it could be putting vegetables in a container for you, which I have done a lot in the past as well. You decide on the habit that works for you. The idea is just to prep your veggies every single day. Ready to go, I got your bag. Whoa, what do you got in there, potatoes, fruit? Yes. Yummy, and hummus. All right, so that's all you need to do to get involved in the challenge. Just do these three easy gateway habits every single day. Come and follow myself and the other content creators over on Instagram post about the action habits, follow us and just check out the story so that you can get involved in any of the tips and tricks that we're sharing and make this easy for yourself and see how influential just knocking over that first domino can be. And one thing I just wanna say as a final thing for why I'm so passionate about this is that I don't have a ton of energy to do difficult things. A lot of the time, I don't have a ton of motivation I have struggled with a lot of like mental health conditions or I should say just anxiety and depression. My husband uses a wheelchair, he has a degenerative condition and life is hard for us and I know if you're a busy mum or if you are just anyone who's got more going on in their life than being able to dedicate hours and hours every day to the gym and dress your kids in white linen and frolic around in Hawaii, then you need simple, easy systems that improve your behavior rather than making things harder for yourself. And you can be successful even if you don't have loads of willpower or time or motivation. And even if you feel like you've tried everything and failed before, there is hope you can change. And if you know you need help to change those ingrained behaviors and you wanna stop dieting and get lean for the rest of your life on a plant-based diet and you are a woman, then I wanna invite you to join Lean With Plants. We are opening again on the 8th of August, right off the back of this challenge. And this is really for people who are wanting to become like the tortoise and make continual progress using proven behavioral change tools. If you are looking for a quick fix and you just want to use, lose a ton of weight for a wedding and you're not interested in creating lifelong habits, then the program is not for you. But if you want this to be the last diet that you ever do so you can get on with your life and find the freedom that there is when you can maintain your goal weight and feel fantastic in your body for the rest of your life, then Lean of Plants is for you. So you can check out the description to learn more about that and put that date on your calendar. 8th of August is when we open up. All right, let's get involved in the challenge. I'll see you over on Instagram and comment below if you are in. Let's do this thing and I'll see you next week as well for another video. All right, bye.